All right, I'm here with Terry. He's done a good job so far and everything. He's about ready to come over and tell me about the car real quick. So this is the new Honda 2012 Civic. A um, couple of things that are new for 2012. Um, our engine actually has uh, some newer technology in it. Lighter weight material. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Solid plastic dipstick. Okay. We're down to a zero W20 engine oil. Honda's engine performance and tolerances are so great now, all we need is the proverbial sewing machine oil. Yeah, that's uh, perfect. One of the things you're going to miss out of here, there's no power steering pump anymore. Yeah. It's an electric power assist system. Uh, that's one less bottle, one less fluid that you got to worry about. Um, Honda also here in the front, this is all designed with something the Honda calls Ace Body Set, Automotive Compatible Engineering. All the frame members, all the support pieces are pre-engineered with stress points in them. So in a front-end collision, that energy from that collision yeah. is absorbed up front here and not sent into the back of the car. Yeah, that's a good good feature. Good feature. As well, five years, 60,000 mile warranty. Yeah, but I did the extended eight years, 120,000. One thing to keep in mind, three years, 36, the battery is covered from on. Yeah, okay. Three years, 36. For 2012, we got new interior colors, and we got an all-new dash. So if you swing around here, I'll stand back and let you take a picture of the dash. Here we go. And we get a, a little message system here where you'll see a little information message, and it'll tell you if a door or trunk is open. Okay. We also have a radio display up there now. Okay. We have a trip computer function. Okay. And we even have the ability to upload your own picture wallpaper up onto that dash. Super. So this design actually, this dash glows blue now, but as you start driving and you be more efficient in your driving, the dash will actually change to a green color. Okay. Sounds good so far. All right. Come back to the back. We have our all season mats that we're gifting you. And a trunk tray. Okay. And what I like the best is it's going to be hard to see in this camera angle, but this is actually a solid piece around the spare tire. Okay. And, and so that's you full support to that. And that's a donut. I, I that is temporary use donut. Yeah, okay, a donut. Now, if you happen to visit IKEA or someplace where you needed more space, yeah. you can pull this lever here and you can mm -hmm. actually push the seat back. Right. And get more space. Alrighty. Alright, back over here to the the car. Should you ever have some small people here in this passenger seat, there is a little warning light up on the dash. 65 pounds or less will automatically turn off that front airbag. Okay. And that's the safety of the passengers in the yeah. front. We have side curtain airbag. We even have a hip airbag that comes out the side of the seat and covers this whole door area. And then the standard front airbag. Now you choose, you can opt for the five-speed okay. manual. Right. Um, it is a lot of fun to drive. This car has a VTEC motor, mm -hmm. and uh, let's forget fuel economy yeah. at 30 plus miles a gallon. But, but if you're going to go have fun. If you want to go have fun, get the RPMs up about 3,500 in one gear, and then drop the hammer. <laughs> and you will be just surprised that there's a high speed and a low speed setting to the cam on this car, and it's variable, and that's what VTEC was for. And that's the car really wakes up above 3,500. Now, if you want to get the best gas mileage, you stay uh, around 2,200. I got you. All right. Um, and if you want to hop in the driver's seat, I'll explain a little bit more about the dash. Uh, I'm going to go around here and take a look at the dash. Yeah. And we'll take a peek at it. All right. Let me get the doors closed. So that just a second here. What was new for us this year is the whole ability to have all this information on the graphic display up there. Okay. Sounds like a cool, neat feature. Everybody seems to really like it. Your radio powers up up here. Okay. And then you can actually tune, and it gives you a nice little graphic dial. Mm -hmm. And you choose your radio station, and then if it has the radio data system, we can turn that on, and you can see the name of the radio station, the song that they're playing, while the while seeing the actual miles, 
We have uh, we drove 257 miles to get it here, and you've got another 180. It's 145 back. 145 at the same time. Now up here on the dash, your fuel is on the left. So the number of white dots means you've got a full tank of gas. Okay. And on the right, you've got the instant mile per gallon. Okay. And what you're going to find driving tonight, um, you're actually, I'm going to have you use the cruise control a lot. Right. And there's a new button for us. It's the econ button over there on the, on the left. You see this little tree symbol in the dash? Yeah, got it. What that means is your car has the ability to be reprogrammed dynamically as you're driving. And that reprogramming isn't for horsepower and speed like some people do with the chips in their cars. And all. This is reprogramming for a high gas mileage. Yeah, okay. Now, when the EPA did their test on the vehicle, they weren't allowed to function in what the econ button could do for you. So it's quite common for folks to get well over 40 miles a gallon with cruise control in econ and in, and in, and in fifth gear. And, and That's what we're going to recommend. Um, we can set up a lot of, we were talking about the features of the car, and there's a lot that we can set up using our setup buttons and the other display features. Uh, we can change music, treble settings. Yeah, I've got all we kinds of bass. Yeah, bass, bass and some treble. Treble and fade out. And, and, uh, one, ball, and one here I want to explain, speed volume control. The louder the road noise is, it has a, a high, medium, and low setting, or you can turn it off. It adjusts the sound level based on the outside noise. And I always just use medium to start with until you get comfortable yeah, with it. Um, let's see, what else do we have going on? Um, we have a couple of things in this lower dash I need to point out to you. One, any of the red symbols obviously yeah, mean, yeah, hey, yeah, silly, yeah. look, I got doors open, I got a brake on, and I don't have my seat belt on. Uh, green or informational, and there are some yellow. Let me go ahead and put this back. There's some yellow that light up like tire warning systems and others like that that are just there to tell you that uh, informational on I, I generally tell people green don't worry about the information to you. Yellow, take some, red is pull over, stop, there's something obviously wrong with the car. And get it going. Yep. Uh, <coughs> let's see, we are talking about the radio here last and let's see if I can get that display back up. There it is. You also have volume controls on your steering wheel. Yeah, oh, that's nice. And uh, if I want, I can pick different sources, AM, FM, um, okay. and then I can do volume up and down, and then I can even jump pre-stored channels if I pre-programmed them yeah, in, right. jumping through AM and FM. Yeah, yeah. And then I was telling you earlier about being able to reprogram your vehicle. This mm -hmm. is the little menu button that makes yeah. that happen. And we can go up, we can get vehicle information, we can customize our settings. That's where... I was telling you about the display, the door and lighting, that's all reprogrammable anytime you want. Uh, any questions you have right now? Oh, I'm sure I'll have a few later. Uh, one thing, I haven't had too many cocktails tonight, so it, uh, it came back in. <laughs> well, all we yeah. had was Coke. So. We had Coke and a Diet steak, Coke, yep. and, you know, so it was a good that's, that's good. You gave me a very full explanation on this. Uh, I appreciate it a bunch, Terry. I know you worked very hard on uh, getting this car. Uh, it took a little while to get it, but well, I think it'll be worth the wait. I tell you, it was a pleasure to meet you, sir, and it was my pleasure to help you. Um, Honda does conduct a customer satisfaction survey. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'll write a good note to your boss. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> and they, Honda. they score us on score one to five, and five, anything less than a five is a failure on our part. I hope I have not let you down in any way. Sounds great. Thanks, sir.